Hi, this is a book called Freight Train. It's written and illustrated by Donald Cruz. Are you ready? It's all about colors. A train runs along this track. Red caboose at the back. Do you know what's in a caboose? A kitchen and a potty and a bed. Orange tank car next. The orange tank car can carry all kinds of things that are liquid. Oil. I wonder what you think this one might be carrying. Might be carrying oil or maybe water. I don't know. I don't know what's in it. Yellow hopper car next. Now this hopper car is carrying corn today, but sometimes it might be carrying rocks or coal or sand, any kind of thing. Green cattle car next. A cattle car has lots of air holes in it because it carries cows or pigs or any other kind of animal. There's a blue gondola car next. This gondola car today is carrying some rocks, but it could carry other things too. It could carry pipes and sticks and anything. Now the next one is the purple box car. This one's my favorite. It can carry all kinds of stuff. Today it's carrying presents. <gasps> presents for you, presents for me, Presents for mommy and daddy. Presents for grandma and all your cousins. Oh, it's such a fun car. Now the next car is a black tender car. It carries coal. And the, and the engineer takes the coal and puts it in the fireplace in the train engine. This is the black steam engine. And the fireplace boils the water and the water makes the wheels go round and round and round, and it makes it sound like this. It goes And here's the whistle. The whistle goes choo choo. And here's the bell. And the bell goes ding 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 ding. And the train goes Can you make that sound too? The whole thing is called a Freight train. It's moving. Going through tunnels. Going by cities. I wonder what city that is. It could be New York or Los Angeles or Chicago. Could be any big city. Crossing trestles. Moving in darkness, moving in daylight, going, going, gone by train. I hope you liked my story today. I think I'll go look for another one so I can read to you again. Bye.